Welcome to the Windy City Bender Podcast with your hosts, Noli, Boatsy, and Jerem. Hey there, friends and family. Mostly family. Uh, we're back. We're back. It's been we a bit are of a back. Holiday. We are back. Uh, happy to be back. It's been uh, a little bit of a while. Some people had to go on vacation or whatever. <laughs> Nobody went on vacation. Uh, oh, yeah, you did. You're right. <laughs> Where were you? I went to Vegas and I lost a lot of money. Hockey City, huh? Mm-hmm. The hockey town that it is. Yeah, stopped. I did stop by the T-Mobile Arena. And as great as it looks, like, from what I've seen on the inside, on the outside, it looks ridiculous. Like in a good way? Or? No, in a bad way. Ooh. It just looks stupid. Yeah. It really does. I mean, it's got like, it looks like a golden acorn on the back. Like a golden knight? Ooh. Kind of. <laughs> kind of, if a knight was an acorn. That's, Their helmet? Well, oh, I think we have another gold helmet in this league. I'm going to shoot myself. Oof. No, I think they're going, I feel like they're going to be black. Uh, we'll see when the jerseys drop. Yeah. Next, um, next, next week. Yeah. Next Tuesday. The Tuesday the 20th? Yeah, the 20th. Uh, but, yeah, happy to be back behind the mic here. We're going to uh, we're gonna change things up a little bit here on the yeah, Windy City I'm, Better podcast. I'm also here, Noli, behind the mic. Thanks for introducing me. Oh, yeah. It's been a while, guys. I'm, I'm <laughs> rusty. Uh, my name is Potsy, as you all know. Along with me is Noli. Yep, yep. And Jerem. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're going to switch things up a little bit. We're... Uh, we're going to go straight into the Stanley Cup final recap because we literally missed almost every single game. Um, I mean, covering it. Yeah. We, we didn't cover most of them. Um, oh, I covered the spread. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a couple big winners off of those games. Yeah, just yeah. a couple. Just a couple. Not, not huge. Not huge. Not huge. Not huge, but, Got the job you know, done. yeah. First time in Vegas, I won three out of three, so. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even there. Yeah, but we're even, that's how you get through you, you, I yeah. was. <laughs> uh and then we're going to wrap up the 2016-17 season and talk about "quote unquote" silly season, which silly has summer, baby. begun, and it's already silly. It is fantastic. Already silly. I'm so happy. Um, all right. Uh, so Stanley Cup final recap. What'd y'all think? What'd y'all think of the final? It was compared a blast. compared to the finals of previous years, uh, it was just as good as any, uh-huh. I think. Really? I thought it surpassed expectations. I thought it was a great yeah. final. It, yeah, was a, I mean, it was a good time. Kind of like the blowout. I mean, I wish the games would have been score wise a little bit closer. Yeah, but yeah. I, I mean, it was it was good. I'm glad I finally broke my uh, my cod- podcast per- curse of uh, predicting wrong. Pens and sticks, <laughs> baby. Time. Yeah, it's about time. About time. Yeah. I forgot what my prediction was. We both well, said Preds. Yes, I think you said yeah. six and you said seven, or vice versa. I don't even think One I picked a game. I just said Preds. <laughs> you got the game right. We're at least. close. Yeah. We're close. Know. It started with the P. You know. <laughs> that's why I didn't bet in Vegas. No. <laughs> well, you well didn't. that's that's a lie. That's just a cold-blooded lie. Uh, so I think we left off game two. I believe so. Yeah. Actually, before game two, it was before game yeah. two. Yeah. We did the pregame. Uh, game two ended up being a sh- an absolute shit show. Shit show. For uh, the Predators, come back in Game Three. Pecorino is back to his normal form. They end up winning the game. And uh, the Madhouse. Oh man, Nashville. Good for them. I don't. <laughs> I honestly think I would have cried if I was Matt Murray. I probably would have cried. <laughs> I really do think. I don't know if Matt Murray's that soft though. No, he's not. I know, <laughs> I, I, know I am. I there is a video that was floating around on Instagram where it was just. Whoever it was was panning around the rink, and they were just let. It was the entire arena was let Matt Murray have it, and he's yeah. just kind of chilling there in his crease. And I'm like, oh, wow, I it's, I'm sweating for him. Yeah, there's it's that a, college I mean, atmosphere. It is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's awesome. It's all those college football fans going yeah. into the, watching another sport where you can just destroy people mm-hmm. and just getting fucking ex- so excited about it. All of Broadway, oh, oh, Broadway God. Street was oh my jam packed, couldn't move. Yeah, Unreal. couldn't move. Some of the pictures that like yeah. I seen uh, Ryan Johansson, that poor bastard, um, <laughs> tweeted out a picture or a video, and yeah. it was just unreal. Yeah. Like they had like a viewing party down Broadway with two separate TVs because there were so many people that they had to bring out a second TV. Yeah, and it was just unreal. I couldn't imagine being down there for mm-hmm. that. Uh, 
So yeah, Preds make it two to one in Game Three, tie it two two after Game Four in a, a blowout. And they, those two games in Nashville, I was like, "Fuck, dude, Preds in six for yeah. sure." Oh yeah, I was ready I was to like, put no it down. No way. Yeah, I was ready to put it down, but <clears> the score was nine oh. to two between the two games in yeah. Nashville. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And I mean, the Preds had, at that point had only lost one home game mm-hmm. in the entire yeah. playoff. Yeah. Um. How about Frederick Goudreau? I don't know where. I just... Kid doesn't... To to this day, he doesn't have a goal in his NHL career, technically. Yeah. And, and he's got he three in the Stanley zero, Cup final. Are, zero career NHL points, but three in the final. What and is that? And aren't two of them game-winning goals, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the the his first one was a game tire. Like, what the hell? Is he related to Johnny Hockey? No. I, okay. I, was I looked trying, it up. I couldn't find anything on it. So I, I looked sure. it up. And he, it, if he is, it's very well hidden. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of crazy, though. I mean, they had Goudreau. I mean, Auberg, Sissons. Um, uh, fuck, who was the other one? I can't think of it. Um, Arvidsson. Arvidsson. I mean, like, they just had unreal guys just step up mm-hmm. when they needed to. But they also had guys like James Neal. Were nowhere to be found. That's always James Neal, though. Yeah. I feel. Well, it He's came out. Always been it like came that. out that he had, I think, a broken wrist or something. Yeah. Um. But still, you think he'd be a bit more of a presence out there? Like, I don't remember hearing his name called once in the six games. He scored, I think, the f- one of the first goals in Nashville. I think, Did he? and that was it. I think he scored maybe. I think he, no, I think he got an empty netter. I know he scored against yeah, I can't them, and they made a big deal like, "Oh, the former Penguin scores." Or he might have been up there because they sealed the deal, basically. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think it was an empty net because it was like, "Oh, finally, James Neal does something," and it's just an empty net. <laughs> he broke his hand in Game One of the Western Conference Final. Wow. The game where he got the overtime winner. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Maybe he was selling too hard. And just he scored the, the third goal in Game Three. Their goal in game three. Mm-hmm. And that was a 5 1. That was a 5 1 game. Mm-hmm. So the series. Series. The series. series. Connor Sheary. I was just making a pun. <laughs> it's not the fact that I'm drinking. We're not uh, drinking. No, we're not. Mom. There's a camera. <laughs> the series goes back to Pittsburgh, tied it too. And I truly thought in my mind that the Predators were going to come in and win it because they I dominated did. both games at Pittsburgh. Other than a five minute span in the second period and the then... game one of the final, like hundred percent should have gone Preds. Mm-hmm. Eas like hundred percent Preds should have won that game. But of course Pittsburgh just finds a way. Works their magic and finds a way. Oh, Jake so I mean shot. I mean if oh. it would have been if it would have been three to one going back to Pittsburgh, could you imagine how fucking yoked these guys would be to be going what, in favor of the Preds? Into the, yeah, into yeah. Pittsburgh. Like, that game, because that I mean, even then, it's like, all right, we lose this game, we go back, still up three two, we go back home to that fucking unreal yeah. crowd, mm-hmm. like, man, just bad luck for the Preds and just it was. unreal luck for the Pens. Does this series change at all if Ryan Johansson is healthy? Do the Preds win? I don't I, know if they win. I definitely say they have a lot better chance though. Because, I mean, they just had so many guys with injuries. and I mean, the Penguins did too, but they had all those guys. Like, they had one guy that's been to the final before. Mm-hmm. Joe, just one. The Joe Falai would have been probably more noticeable out there for yeah. sure. Because they were tearing it up yeah, until they, um, Johnson got hurt. But just the inexperience just catches up to you at some point. It always does. Well, the it's, final... very, it's very hard to go. I mean, Pitt, Pittsburgh now has five guys on the team that have won three cups together. Mm-hmm. I mean, and... Not a single guy on Nashville has a cup. Well, in the final two games, Nashville had zero goals. Not a single yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, Matt Murray, the rookie with two shutouts. Matt there. Murray, he was outstanding. The, he was great. The rookie. Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder if that yeah, changes Matt at all. Matt Murray, the rookie with two cups in his one rookie season. Unreal. That's Ridiculous. That's Unreal. Ridiculous. But Crosby's the MVP. Oh, God. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, game five, Pittsburgh comes out. Absolutely firing at all cylinders. Renee's out after the first. Unexpected. Unexpected, but also no. at the same time, I was like, of unexpected course. that all those goals would go in. Yeah. Not that Pittsburgh wouldn't be firing. I, w- I was expecting that. I was totally expecting Pittsburgh. As soon as I saw Pekka Renee like flub that puck behind the net, 
when he uh, he it was he just stopped to dump it and he went to go and play it and he flubbed it and I was like, oh boy. That was yeah. the story. It's of the gonna playoffs. be one of those. That was the story of the playoffs. So any goalie trying to play the puck just Holy fumbled cow. it or threw it right at one of the, somebody else or something. Like it was just goalie. Honestly, ninety percent of that though line. was Craig Anderson. Craig Anderson yeah. can't handle the puck to save his life. But yeah, I, I as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh boy, here we go. I think the the Hainsey goal of that game was probably like just the story. The yeah. friggin' Phil chipping up Malkin between PK's yeah. legs. Hainsey just tapping it in. I mean that, I don't know that game. I expected that game. I truly did. I did. I I didn't think I was expecting six nothing. Yeah, I wasn't but expecting it to. be I was that expecting bad. Pittsburgh to be like, you know what? We're gonna show you why we're yeah. the defending cup champs. So then we move on to game six. Do or die for Nashville. First time in the series that the first period ends and there was absolutely no score. Which is crazy. First time. I think still needs more scoring though. <laughs> Um. Yeah, they do because then there it were should no have goals been like twelve period. to ten by the end of the first. Yeah. I know. Uh, second period, Nashville comes out, shot on Murray, squeaks through his armpit on the left side, doesn't know that he doesn't have it. He just lays down, gets poked in. Predator score. Just kidding. J.K. The whistle went about two seconds before. Puck went in because the referee was too lazy to take two hard strides yeah. from the corner to the back of the net. That and the Predators get screwed. That that goal reminded me of the Jarmelson goal back in 2013 when um, they blew the whistle dead, but nobody could hear because the fans were just going nuts. Yeah, crazy. And Jarmelson ripped to a top corner, and they called it back and said no goal. And it was like, all right, that was fucking. That was a stupid, stupid call. But I understand it's why you right stuck by it. Yeah. I understand that. And, like, that was the same situation here where, like, I understand why you stood by it, but it was an absolutely dog shit call by a absolutely terrible mistake by that ref because mm-hmm. you're you're in the Stanley Cup final, 0-0 zero, zero game, and in a, game in six, a in a huge game. game, huge game, and you're just going to glide from the huge. corner along the goal line, like, towards the net when, like, I don't know. That was, was the a, thing that made me mad. It was a mad. quick whistle, and he just glided. Like, if you would have taken a hard, one hard stride even, he would have seen that that puck was loose. The quick whistle made me mad. Yeah. That made me mad. But the fact that he literally just kind of, like, took one no soft effort, stride, yeah. maybe looked around for a second, and then blew it. I was like, what yeah. are you doing? And um, people were talking about it, and they were saying how during the season – like the regular season, something like this happened. I think it was in Buffalo. They said, and uh, same guy. No, 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 no. But like just similar situation where the ref blew the whistle dead, but they went back and like the other refs came and talked to him, and said like that puck was loose, like it, it was still in play, and they reviewed it and they went back and said that the whistle was irrelevant and it it should count as a goal because it was still loose and the guy put it home. Right. They, they reversed the call. It wouldn't have changed anything. No, they. No, no, I mean, whether, well. They reverse the call back in the regular season, and then they don't even review it in the well, final. Here. So, I mean, if, and if they review it in the final, the Preds are up one nothing. Right. That's, the, oh, God, that's unreal. In the second. Right. I I didn't mean to say it wasn't going to change anything. I, I meant to say, like, whether or not the whistle was going to be blown, there's no way Matt Murray was going to make the save. No, exactly. Or it was going to get that's covered wh- up. That's why it got right tr- um, switched exactly. during the regular season. So they're they saying, the here, this would... So we're talking about the situation, whatever, it's a little at spirit I saw. Um, this would also include situations where the referee stops play or is in the process of stopping the play because he's lost sight of the puck and is determined by video review that the puck crosses or has crossed the goal line and enters the net at the accumulation of the continuous play where the results was unaffected by the whistle, i.e. the timing of the whistle was irrelevant to the puck entering the net at the end of the continuous play. According to the NHL, the only way this play would have been considered a continuous play is if Forsberg's initial shot had gone into the net as the referee was in the process of blowing the whistle. Which, but no, I get that, but that's like, but that's the so that's the NHL's official. I think that's just the reason for their it. Own ass. Yeah, because if it happened during the regular season where they overturned it, why, why is it different in the playoffs? I mean, it it goes back to the refs being average. Well, no, it goes back to the NHL saying, "Oh, we need more goals. We need more goals. We need we need more goals." But we're Waving goals taking off. goals away because of a skate was a 
millimeter off the ice. Yeah. The ref blew the whistle half a second too early. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah. And, I mean, that's... There's no consistency. I know. Mean, it's that's, really that's not. The, thing. And, and, the, and, and, the refs have been just... The whole playoffs, they were just... They were bad. Average. They were very bad. Average at best. I wouldn't even say average. I, yeah. I would say that they were bad. That's why I said at best, <laughs> if you didn't interrupt me. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, they were average at best. And, like you said, inconsistency, inconsistency was just yep. terrible, you know? It's turned into the NFL. Like you, you don't I feel know like, what's going on. I feel like it's just like a dartboard, and it's like, here's the rule. And the, so they, they throw it, and it's it. like, yeah. oh, well, it's that side. So, you know what? No, we're, we're good. We're not yeah. going to call that. No. Or it's thing, I mean, it goes back to goal interference. It goes back to these offsides reviews. It's somebody has got to step up and make better definitions for these rules. Yeah. But, I mean, the NHL rule book's big enough, so yeah, I can't right. read that. Can't even read. <laughs> uh, so the second period ends. Still no score. Now we're getting into basically overtime. next goal wins. Yeah. Basically overtime. Next goal wins. And the first time I hate to say is I agreed with Pierre. The second he said it, the start of the third, he goes, well, we're in overtime now. Next goal wins. Yeah, and I'm like, man. God damn it, you're right. Fuck you, Pierre. And we went almost an entire period <laughs> without a goal. Yeah. But who scores it off of a Stupid. Funky bounce. <laughs> Ex Predator Patrick Cornquist, who has been getting a lot of shit this playoffs because he's been playing terribly. Hey, I mean, came out and he had a broken finger. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, hey, Patrick Cornquist for uh, James Neal, and uh, because Preds wanted more scoring from James yeah. Neal, and like who scores the G dub? Patrick Cornquist. With only a buck 35 to go. Yeah, there wasn't much time left. Ugh, oh, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, that's a killer. Was the first. I thought it was interesting that Nashville went and challenged that, though. You have it, to. I mean, yeah. I know that you, you you have to, but also it's a minute and thirty five left out. to go in. Yeah, in game six, if you're not a hundred percent sure that that's goalie interference and you are going to I lose mean, there, your timeout, there was. I mean, I you can't guarantee that it. there's going to be a next whistle, though. right? And I kind of questioned it too. I mean, I kind of saw like Hornquist was going behind. It kind of looked like he might have hit once, bumped into him. Once but, they started reviewing it and like seeing replays, I was like, okay, I could see why they would at least right. throw it out there. I yeah. think because at first I was like, why would they? No, yeah. What are they even doing? Mm-hmm. Was there like offsides to get in the zone or something? But like, yeah. But I mean, at that so do point, you think you guys think that they took you had to. that challenge to have a timeout yeah. at the same time? Because it was the same. I know. mean, it was just probably, and plus, like we said, inconsistent. It, inconsistency you never know what the ref's gonna fucking call that's true <laughs> and I mean the time it took from the that's review true. that call it was equivalent yeah. it was equivalent to if not a little bit longer than a regular timeout anyways yeah. yep. so everybody can recoup but didn't work so the Pens lead one nothing, and then to put the icing on the cake Carl Hagelin with the second <laughs> finally Carl Hagelin gets one because he was bro- playing with a broken leg. yeah fucking broken uh, fibula? fibula fibula yeah fucking Jesus. warrior out there Gets his second, and the Penguins go back to back. First time an NHL team has done that since the 97 98 season. And which Phil was Kessel Detroit. is a two time Stanley Cup yeah, champion. We got the Phil P. He is. Phil P. The is Phil P. He is. Uh, Matt Murray turns out that he tore his groin in that Warmies which game one. Slap to the face, Marc Andre Fleury. Like, oh, bef- before the season even started, they asked Fleury to waive his no trade clause, and he uh, he agreed with it. Comes down, Murray gets hurt. They ride Flurry through the first two rounds of the playoffs. He's unreal for them. Maybe doesn't get through the first, second round against the Cavs without him. And then, oh, Matt Murray's back, but he also got hurt. But we're still gonna ride Murray. Like fuck you, Mark Andre. <laughs> like we really just don't want you on this fucking team. For how awesome Mur- uh, Flurry's been, I mean, he's getting ho- he's getting we're agree he's getting hosed by. Pittsburgh a little Absolutely. bit, right? Like, he, oh, fuck yeah. Okay. He, like, oh my God. I don't think he cares at this point. Man. He's doing, but he is such a good, like, he's, I really don't. he is good guy Flurry so I think, much. Yeah. I think Poets, you said it before in a different episode, like, he's just smiling as much as he can, and as soon as he's gone, he's like, fuck those guys. <laughs> These fucking guys are such dickheads over there. <laughs> I think, well, he was pretty emotional. Uh, he was. When they were he doing was. the celebrations, and I think he, he got in the locker the parade, room too. The locker yeah. room clean out, I seen he was... They asked him about it, and it was he was choked up, yeah. hard to talk about. Which I mean, you can yeah, understand. Yeah. He's guy's been there since how what, many five? How many goalies have gone number one overall? Yeah, like 
he's one of limited, and he's, he's been there. Since he's 05, in the same and, category as Rick T. Pietro. Yeah, but also way above that because he's got three yes. rings. <laughs> yes, and I think he has more rings than D. Pietro has NHL starts in the playoffs. Probably. Yeah, for Probably. sure. Probably. But I mean, yeah, it's that's a hard time for yeah. uh, Flurry, especially when uh, they just kept slapping him in the face. I still think he's gonna find himself a nice little home. Easy. Whether it's in Vegas, I, mean, I, I think he will get picked up by Vegas in the draft. But I don't, I do not think he's going to be on, in Vegas. I think they're going to flip gonna him. Pawn him off. I, there's no way he doesn't get a starting job based mm-hmm. off of how he finished this season this year. And plus, and what he, he can obviously, playoffs. he's obviously a great locker room guy, oh, yeah. experience, and I've never heard one bad thing about him. Yeah, no. So I mean, yeah. who wouldn't want him? You know, I mean, he had, the Hawks, just baby. what he's doing with the situation with Pittsburgh is. He agreed to waive it for if for the expansion draft in February, but he wanted to stay on the team through the run and have the chance of one more cup. But he so he played that entire season with that on his mind. Like that's yeah. I mean that's even makes it even more impressive when yeah. he does. And then they, even, they have to lean on him in the in the right. playoffs yeah. and it's like, God, oh I could, could fuck you, you guys. Imagine so hard. having that conversation with him just Hey, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I know a couple months listen. ago we talked about you not playing here, yeah. but we need you. <laughs> uh, so game six uh, was the most Stanley Cup, uh, most watched Stanley Cup playoff game in North America with 11.5 million viewers. That's the most since 12.2 million. Uh, game six, 2013, when the Hawks won. Uh, NBC was what lockout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> NBC was real nervous about Nashville being in the final. And look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Is Nashville wonder, a hockey town now? Hell yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> if not, if Nashville's not a hockey town, everybody else is becoming a Nashville fan enough to where it's going to be. <laughs> it's going town. to be whether they because want any, to or if not. If they go to the final, again, people are going to watch the shit out of them. Nashville, the final. what happened with Nashville is changing my opinion on bandwagon a little bit. I mean, I have no problem like, with bandwagon fans, but there's, but like, I mean, I've always had the issue with the Hawks, especially with the Hawks. I mean, because it was a little bit different because we've been through the bad or whatever, and I was like, oh, fuck you guys, you're here now when they're good. But I mean, with right. Nashville, it's like we're we're getting a chance to see the start of what can be probably one of the top ten best fan bases in the league, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's pretty cool seeing this. Yeah, and I wonder where like. I'm sure you could look it up, but like the demographics of like where it was most watched at, because I saw the like throughout the whole playoffs, Buffalo was yes, always at I the saw top that. of the list, and Minnesota and Na- Nashville um, was up there in most yeah. of the playoff rounds. I think St. Louis was in there too. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. seeing it. Oh, poor St. Louis and Minnesota just waiting just <laughs> to see what it's like to see a cup win, and it's not coming. Gonna and have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, Buffalo being on top of the list is pretty crazy. They're pretty close to Canada. Yeah, right you know? by Toronto. Yeah, I mean they got three teams in. They're the big. State. They're a big hockey town. Yeah, they're, they're a big sports they're, town because yeah. I mean they 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 die by the Bills and the yeah. Bills are awful. Yeah, like yeah, they're huge sports guys. Yeah, huge, <laughs> huge sports, sports guys. <laughs> Shout out to Stan Soika. Um, what did you guys think about the uh, the whole Subban Crosby battle throughout the whole great. series? Amazing. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious. I mean, it was it was funny. It was fucking. Mm-hmm. Hard fought. It was just everything you want in a battle between a top mm-hmm. forward and a top defenseman. Mm-hmm. I love. He, and plus, it's PK, <laughs> so he's gonna go out of his way oh, to yeah. make a yeah. joke out of it. I love know? Subban. Uh, in the interview with Pierre Maguire, how he was just like, "Oh, was, he was told me I needed Listerine. I told him, or, or he told me my breath smell uh, smelled bad." And I was like, "No, I use Listerine in the locker room." Yeah, <laughs> but in that, uh, I think it's the Showtime. Series the audio came they, out they of it. They showed the clip of the audio, and it's literally just Subban going, "Hey, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you." And then Crosby goes, "Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> bud. <man. laughs> fuck you. You're a fucking idiot." Yeah. Like. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, and then apparently a bunch of PK's teammates brought bottles and bottles of Listerine. He and walked then, in. No. P- it was his teammates that got him it, and then That's he walked was, in with yeah. a bag of okay. Listerine. Yeah, because I saw he walked in before. And now he's game. actually uh, sponsored. By no. Yeah, he's doing, <laughs> he's doing sponsorship ads. That's for amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Fucking PK Ray, in the dough, man. What do you? Okay, what Off would a you, joke? What do you guys feel about the whole, um, the tie up with, the little mini wrestling match behind the net? Um. Personally, I had no problem with it at all. 
I do and I don't. I have a problem because I know just because it was Crosby and I feel like if it was anybody else, they might not get away with it as much. They but both, at the same time, they both got called. so many people get get away with it too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know people. Crosby gets away with a lot more, but he also takes a lot more. Yeah, right. Like I have no problem with Crosby. I'm, I like Crosby, but it was just seeing him just smash Subban's face into the ice. And it's like Subban it, that's, sat there. The that's, thing, that's, thing that's with literally me was like Subban just took not it. caring about somebody's. Yeah. But he wasn't. I mean, he wasn't smashing. I mean, let's let's he, he was pushing. He, he was pushing head up hard. And kept... But you know what though? At the same time though, when I think of smash, I mean, I'm thinking like you know, you think it's Shea sh- Weber. Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> but also, it's like yeah, he's like the whole situation I saw was Crosby's trying to get up. PK had his leg, so he's like, all right, fine. You want to hold my leg? Then here, I'm gonna do see... this to you. That's what I saw, kind of thing, and it wasn't like if a it wasn't, lot of people were saying that Subban had his leg he did. before, yeah, everything. Oh happened. no, before no, but I know when they were down and Christ starts doing the head, he had, PK had his right. leg, kind of thing. Which I would too if I was right. Subban. Like if you're gonna fucking knock my head into the ice, I do that. I, I'm I do absolutely that in beer league, dude. Yeah. Fucking, oh, sorry, I fell. Yeah. Damn these high heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I had no problem with it. It was. No, I mean that's that's yeah. playoff Stanley hockey Cup though. Final, come yeah. on. Mm-hmm. And then, but the fact that he like, comes up, PK comes up, and he's just got Crosby, <laughs> and then Ethan's like, "Oh, he he he'd be good in the MMA." He go, he he could totally do that, you know. Just pull the arm up a little bit more, and Crosby's out. Right. <laughs> it goes back to just like watching the two, maybe the top defenseman on Nashville versus the top player in the world in mm-hmm. Crosby, just battling it out and just giving her a go. So I mean, a lot of people give Subban. Agree for his defensive skills, but he shut out. He shut out. He shut out. Did a pretty. He shut out Jonathan Taze. He shut out Ryan Getzlaff. He shut out uh, Vladimir Tarasenko, and he shut out Sidney Crosby a lot, a lot of the time against Crosby. He got in Crosby's head. He did. That's Crosby didn't turn it. Crosby wasn't irrelevant until Game Four, basically. Yeah. I mean, not irrelevant, but he wasn't on his game until Game Four. What did you guys think about him throwing the water bottle? I don't. I don't fully see it. What I know. So he what said happened, he didn't mean to throw it, but uh, clearly. Well, I mean, that was that clearly. Got taught. Like, why? Definitely did. What? Like, did something happen? Something behind happened the behind play? the play. Yeah. And he was Somebody trying to get the rest attention, so he threw the water bottle. But he was like, "Oh, I didn't mean it." You know, like, nah, "Oh, hey, you did." Look over here. Hey, I went to. I went to yell, and it slid out of my hand. Like, no, nah, dude. When he, he literally it had it, and it was yeah. like a perfect spiral. Ben Roethlisberger was. Real happy about it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't. Did I say the name right? I don't think I did. <laughs> ben Roethlisberger. Ro- 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 football. Ro- yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't at anybody, correct? Like there wasn't. It was, it was just, just kind of like he in just the chucked of it into the middle of the ice. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, but I mean that led through a goal. I mean, there was a goal that happened it literally as it was like, going on, yeah, right? Yeah. Which I mean, it's well, they can't. Pittsburgh came back game. and scored. Yeah. Yeah. It, like they scored as he was like basically throwing it, which I mean, it can't, technically a well, delayed no, he game threw for throwing it, it and there. the Predators were coming out of their own zone. He no, they were already it. in the zone. I thought the Predators were coming out, and then no, there was two guys behind them play with one ref, oh. and they were already in okay. the Predator zone. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that was pretty shitty. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see it enough. Oh. But. Um. Sid wins Con Smythe for the second straight year. Bullshit. Uh, Amen. I mean, I no doubt in the. That he's the best player in the world. Yeah. No doubt. Definitely. At all. But, I mean. There's so many more guys. Evgeny Malkin. Yeah. Evgeny Malkin. (laughs) The thing, okay, Crosby was great during the playoffs, but he wasn't great the entire playoffs. Yeah, right. And that's what the con Smythe is. And that's what frustrates me. Uh He showed up the two, like, each series, the two games they needed him, he was there. But the rest of it, it was kind of like. Malkin just tore it up the entire playoff. He's. Malkin, is, I, don't, I don't get how he's not in the top 100 players of all time that the NHL had, which is fucking dog shit of a list because you don't have Malkin on there. Like, he's easily a top three player in the league right now. Yeah. How is he not 100, mm-hmm. top 100 of all time? Like, that guy can fucking, every time in the playoffs, he just turns it up. Like, he's, I feel like he's almost more of a go-to guy for a big-time goal than Crosby is. Mm. And, like, I don't know. I feel how do you like not pick on it? like how do you not pick him? He led the playoffs in points. I feel like yeah. they they chose Crosby because they're like, oh look at what he went through. He he got the concussion and came back in two days, and and then he won the Stanley Cup. Like, but is, I, isn't it kind of funny? I was I thinking about care. that. Isn't that funny how like 
the c- concussion thing was huge, and then the next round, nobody even, like, thought about it, and then they went out yeah. and won a cup and Conn Smythe, and it's just completely irrelevant now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> as soon as that series ended, you didn't hear anything about yeah, it. Yeah, there's there nothing. Just, yeah. For every other player, oh, well, he's playing with this, so let's see if this affects him in the yeah. entire series, and they'll mention, like, the same player hurt five times a period, but nope, crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they also could have gone Jake Gensel. I God, thought I who, thought that Gensel should have gotten that's it. Who I truly really thought that he yeah. should have gotten it. Yeah, he got, he kind of got ripped off this year. He what? was unbelievable. Tied the points, rookie points record for playoffs. With Dino Cicerelli. He was one back for goals, I believe, the goal record. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, he – how do you not give that to them? Yeah. yeah. And he was, just, he was just good. Like, he was just good in the playoffs. Yeah. Like, the whole he, playoff, he was You good. noticed him out there. Yeah. Like, all the time. And defense and zone, everywhere. You knew he was out there. And yeah. it, not only was he scoring, but he was scoring timely goals. Yeah. Like you said, that one uh, game one, game one, game one, just ripped it. Oh my god! And it's not like he's just out there with Crosby, which I mean he was, but it's not like he was out there with Crosby just getting back door, empty nets. Mm-hmm. Like that he, was all skill by him. He worked by his himself. ass off. Yeah, he fucking one on one just rips it top corner over Pekka. Like that's mm-hmm. just oh god, that was a disgusting goal. Then he changed the angle. And yeah, put it oh just a little toe drag just to change it. Yeah, beautiful. Um, Plus, he was just ripping beers at the parade. Oh, God. Did you guys see the Instagram the post in- uh, of, I think he, they were at the Pirates game, and he was sitting behind Sidney Crosby, and he's got a Coors Light, and it's like when you sneak a beer behind Dad, and he doesn't even know <laughs> it. <laughs> and he's got, like, this dumb smile on his face. That's, yeah, that's awesome. great. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that entire parade was just a shit show. Oh, us. God. It wasn't even... God. No, it wasn't a shit show, dude. That's fucking what you want out of a Stanley Cup parade. <laughs> like, Mata. Did you see that picture? Oh, God. They, Mata. they had to Mata hold him hammer, up dude. on the... Bu- on the I, I the, thought the he fell off. He Did he on? fall off the bus? No, he was about to, and that's why they were holding him up the well, entire time. Well, and then time. after the parade, there's a picture of the him sky just passed yeah. out on a couch on a balcony. Yeah. No shirt on, dude. Just yeah. jersey laying there. Is it Dumoulin? Dumoulin yeah, doing... Just uh, yeah. beers, dude. <laughs> oh, my Fuck God. It. And Getting okay. tossed beers, not even questioning where they came from. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going for it. It's crazy, though. Like, Pittsburgh, this is their second time around in two years for the parade, and, like... The Hawks parades were so massive that there was so like so much protection. Like they're on the like double decker London buses, and like you couldn't go anywhere near them. And these fucking guys in Pittsburgh, like they have such a smaller fan base that they they get to, they're walking around signing say, autographs, they off the, getting like, beers tossed to them. Like they're just running around, like having a great time. Yeah, like, doing again. How awesome he got off that? the he got off the truck, grabbed a beer, big <laughs> one, and just shotgunned it. Like oh god, what a champ. Six hundred fifty thousand people. It's compared to what two mil? Three. Three. Yeah, three. yeah, at the last one, three mil. Yeah, I feel like the Pittsburgh fan base is more. Well, it's hard in Pittsburgh too. I think it's also hard because they got Philly right there. Yeah. yeah, and that's a huge rivalry. So I mean, it's pretty split. I mean, the closest to us is what St. Louis, Detroit. Detroit. They're about the same. Columbus. Probably St. Louis. Yeah, Minnesota. No, I think St. Louis is the closest, like, I think St. actual closest, mileage. Yeah, because that's uh, four hours, five hours five around hours, there. Four hours if you're cruising. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, when I'm driving, it's yeah. three. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> nine for you or Maybe, whatever, yeah. Grandma. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, can you imagine being at one of those parades? Just You're just standing there with extra beers and just guys are coming up and just gassing them with you. Can you yeah. imagine the 2010 parade if it was like that? Um, classic Patty Kane. Oh. Well, he couldn't God. even control himself at that point. I know, but I mean, I mean the, plus the heat. It that was, was so on his own. Year. That was a terrible day. Yeah, that was rough. I, that I was, just remember that parade where, where we were we were at. Yeah. You can see them like on the stage where they're walking up, and they're about to introduce Kane, and he's just on the stage. He and looked he's just sick. Like, yeah, he was almost like he out. looked. <laughs> he, was almost he looked like a skeleton. Like his cheeks were sunken in, and like his head he was down and good. I'm like he's talk he's he's pumping himself up to get out there and go <laughs> <Yeah>. because <laughs> fucking boot and rally yeah. <laughs> how old is Gensel is he even 21 oh yeah about, oh he's gotta be 20 he's like I think 20. what about Mata yeah. Mata uh, is I know I'm pretty sure Mata is cause I wonder how many guys are under 21 just ripping it cause I mean who, what are you gonna say oh I just won the Stanley Cup you're yeah, not having a beer like no Mata's okay. 22 22 okay and plus, I mean, most he of these looks guys. looks like he's 12. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gensel and looks. Gensel is 22 as well. Gensel looks pretty young, too. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Um, Just a mess. A Pittsburgh newspaper voted Mata the Penguin Stanley Cup Parade MVP. Uh, <laughs> hey, at least he got an MVP. Deservedly <laughs> so, because, fuck, he totally made up for his dog shit performance in the playoffs by just he was wrecking so that parade. Like, some of these headlines are hilarious. <laughs> Penguins Parade, Ali Mata got into one on Wednesday. <laughs> I gave I gave it everything I, I had, checking in under the Penguins who party hard, and just picture Mata. <laughs> Did you see the... Uh, there was one guy there getting a huge blow-up uh, catfish autographed by the pens. Yes. That was great. I saw that. Did you see the guy, the same guy that did the Phil, the Phil face last year, eating the, the hot dog? He, was he eating, did a, a yeah. catfish hot dog yeah. this time. <laughs> um, they, had, they had some great signs. They did. This year, yeah. They did. Um, going back to Olimata for a second, um, Eric Nystrom was on one of the latest uh Spit and Chicklets episodes. Yeah. And he and uh, Whitney were talking to each other. And uh, Wit- Wits asked him the question. He was like, hey, so who do you think, you know, uh, or no, they were talking about how they're analysts on, on NHL Network. And they're like, oh, it's really hard to, like, voice your opinion because you're like, oh, I've been there. Like, I, I don't want to roast this guy. I've been roasted before <laughs> and it doesn't feel good and everything like that. He's like, I, I don't want to name names. And there was like five seconds of silence. And Eric Nystrom went, No, Wit- it was Wit. Was it Wit? Yeah. And Wit goes, but Ole Mata, man, yeah. he was so bad. And then Nystrom was just like, at least you said the name. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Was he got torn into by everybody this playoff. Uh, deservedly Ole. so. Yeah. Though. I mean, yeah. he was bad. Real bad. Uh, Noli is actually getting a call from Tanner right now. Why don't you put that on speaker? Uh, I don't know if you should do that, but I'll answer. <laughs> Hello. What's um, going on, man? <laughs> So, finals and the playoffs are over. Oh, yeah. Everything's done. How was it? I'm a little distracted. Sorry. Uh, well, <laughs> Should we just so cut you it? Want to hop on speakerphone then? Oh god. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Here's we're gonna Tanner, everybody. Make this uh, work. We're talking about how dog shit Ole Mata was, but he wrecked it in the fucking Stanley Cup parade. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So uh, here's our first guest, uh, Mr. Yeah. Broly the goalie himself. God, I hope this turns out good because this will be awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. What, so what have you said about Oli Mata already besides the fact that he only knows how to show up when it doesn't fucking matter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can argue that that does fucking matter. Uh-huh. He, uh, he, we were just reading how he got voted uh, Penguin Stanley Cup Parade MVP. <laughs> yeah, his, his four, his four point, his four million contract. <laughs> Once we get back to that Stanley Cup, we know who's gonna lead the way in partying. Dude, I don't know. Dumoulin fucking likes to fucking party. I think he uh, doesn't want to be shown up by Oli Mata. <laughs> Tanner, this do you fucking. Oh, Gensel might just fucking go ham. Yeah, I can see Gensel just wrecking yeah. everything. Do you guys think Finland's <laughs> army? <laughs> you got Kesselmania and Gensylvania. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, do you think Finland's army is watching Olimata and going, oh, oh, oh no. God? <laughs> Hopefully oh, we don't get attacked. <laughs> well, I mean, if they get attacked and they fucking win, they know who's fucking ready to win. <laughs> 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 oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> All right, Tanner, you'll appreciate this quote, too. We talked about it earlier for Mata. He, uh, they asked about the parade, and he goes, I gave it everything I had. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, you saw that fucking picture of him passed out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. He literally left everything he had out there. <laughs> I'm not sure how that kid is not just a fucking, like, beat red <laughs> Literally, like, fucking whitest white you could be. It's just finished white, man. They don't like that. They're all fucking blonde and pale as fuck. <laughs> Tanner, what was your favorite moment of the playoffs? Favorite moment of the playoffs? Dude, that never, the playoffs never happened. I don't think the Hawks made it. <laughs> 
I don't remember yeah, anything past, past the first round. Yeah, dude, isn't it just, isn't, are we still 2015? No, didn't the Hawks just win? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right, perfect. Yeah, Oli Mott is definitely guessing beers for the Hawks. Let's see. Favorite moment of the playoffs? Yeah. I don't know, fucking, gotta be just Carlson, all playoffs. Oh, yeah. What a monster. Yeah. He was so good don't that even, he got a vote for the Consmite. And fucking participates in every game-winning goal that team fucking scores. I think I think he was a part of every single one besides two, and he was on the but ice he was for still on the ice. Yeah. 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 Still, t- though, too. It's like if he's on the ice, fuck, might as well give him an assist because yeah. he's on at least three guys. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, he was on the ice and like had like the third assist. So uh-huh. just give him the secondary assist. <laughs> he, just, I, he doesn't even shoot the look, shoot the puck. He just shoots a look at you and you're stunned. <laughs> this guy is fucking beautiful. I think I think hands down the best Carlson moment of the playoffs though was that stretch pass. Oh God, from him to uh stone uh, no, no it wasn't hoffman. stone hoffman yes hoffman. yeah and just it's literally landed and then it. hoffman yeah, finishes with the forsberg yeah just landed it perfectly flat on the tape like yeah. holy fuck that or the moment when uh, the cameras caught him fake talking to all his players making fun of crosby it's pretty great. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um or fucking uh what was it against the rangers when they were like playing pretty shitty and he, and he just ripped him a new one went off he goes let's fucking go mm-hmm. and they just genoed right there and i was like oh my god oh my god <laughs> the power of carlson the power of carlson compels you his quote after that series with the rangers was just how do you guys think you guys play i mean i mean we all played him for three games and one game we had Peugeot, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hat trick to tie it up and a fucking fourth goal to win in no T. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. unreal. <laughs> Doesn't it, I feel like he only scores goals in like bunches? Doesn't he? Pajot, yeah. Yeah. It's like you you forget who he is and then he comes out and just scores four games in a row or something like that. <laughs> yeah, he gets like two per game though too, which is yeah. fucking ridiculous. Yeah. How about you, Poets? What was your favorite moment? Oh God. Um. Uh, when the Hawks finally scored a goal. <laughs> that was a pretty solid moment. Three. Yeah. <laughs> One of the three that goals. Was pretty, that was a pretty great moment. I don't uh, know about that. Wasn't it Rasmussen, too, that scored it? Yeah. So it was like, yeah, Moose. we scored. Oh, oh, Moose. Damn it. Being a uh, Hawks fan on Reddit is just a shit show right now because <laughs> anything that any team does that's more than three, they just go, well, they did, at least they had as many goals as the Hawks had during the playoffs. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> At least the Penguins had more cups than the Hawks had gold. Fuck, shit. Ron <laughs> <laughs> Hainsey has more playoff series wins than the, 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 the Hawks had goals in the playoffs. Like, oh, oh, fuck oh. Fucking hell. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. God damn Talking it. about Hainsley, dude, what a fucking stone face, huh? Unreal. How real? Si- <laughs> sniper, Ron Hainsey? Yeah, fucking, what, 16 years in the league, makes the playoffs once, wins the cup. Yeah, you know, I'm just out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just out here having a good time. I'm glad they picked me up and we won the cup. Dude, fuck. Get excited. I got You're more, on a team with Phil Kessel. I got more. I got more. I got more excited for us winning the last beer league championship than I think Hainsey did for the yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, but he had an unreal quote. I don't know. Can you pull it up real yeah. quick? I want to see what it was. I, I don't want to mess it up because yeah. it was just great. I think I think that's what the Hawks were missing this season, though, huh? That charity case at the end of the year. I was saying again li- at the deadline, and then he went to LA, and I was like, F- "Well, Hawks that was fucked a waste up. of a Hawks <laughs> fucked up." Dude, that's like the same fucking issue with like Ryan Miller when he just wanted to sign a new contract, and he's like, "I want to go to contender," but then he goes to Vancouver. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> what were you like, thinking? Like, yeah, they're not even in the playoff hunt right now. What the fuck are you thinking, bud? It's the like Hainsy, you wanted a cup. the Hainsy quote was. You just keep plugging away until they take your skates away. Yeah, that's fucking that's awesome. Oh, oh, my God. God. What a butte. Yeah. That's the only thing. That, that was the only butte part of that whole conversation. I feel like that would be a really good tattoo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to get a tattoo, Tanner. Yeah, out of out of the four of us here, yeah. one of us is going to get a tattoo, so. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> a bigger dick on my dick. <laughs> Phil Kessel on Phil Kessel on you somewhere. What was your favorite moment, Noli? Uh I don't know. There's so many just unreal moments. Was it seeing Toronto actually push? That Toronto Washington? series was just unreal. That whole series was just so much fun to watch. Um Dude, Toronto just 
the fact that they went up in the series yeah was great <laughs> watching Matthews Nylander and uh, Marner, Marner just oh. the future of the of the show the basically it's showing the tides are shifting in the NHL yeah yeah it's gonna be uh, that was yeah that, that I'd probably say that whole series because that was just fucking mm. every game was just gritty and it was awesome do you do you think that whole front office just laughs at Buffalo and just like, this, this is fucking easy. <laughs> and it's like, like oh. It's like, oh, haha, you got Eichel and the worser of the Nylanders. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> and now Phil Housley. Yeah, yeah, but we got Mike Babcock, so. Yeah, that's true. Suck on that. That's and he has Bab socks, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't yeah. see any Housley yeah. socks. <laughs> Zach, you? I was gonna say it, the Phil beat, baby. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Cop I mean, out. after the Hawks, I mean, cop out. I mean, come on, it's a cop out. Phil Kessel goes from uncoachable in Toronto to winning two cups in the two years he's away from there. That's so did Trevor Daly. Tries hard. Loves the game. <laughs> Loves the game. Loves the game. Huge, yeah. huge Stanley Cup guy. Huge. I mean, <laughs> fuck, he's two for two right now in Pittsburgh. Yeah. So is Trevor Daly. How, yeah. how fucking, how much of a, oh, God, dick slap is this fucking to Hawks fans? The Hawks traded Trevor Daly for Rob Scuderi, one for one, and Daly's two for two in Stanley Cups in that, Pittsburgh. We, fucking, we flipped Scuderi and still retained, retained LA for Christian Erhoff, who never fucking saw the ice more than once. Yeah, and we retained over a mil in Scuderi's salary. How big of a fucking joke is that? Jesus. Yeah, that was that was well, not. Well, off the books now. <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> now the Daily's got two cups. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ. So the entire season is now over. Final opinions. Now it's the fun season. Yeah. <laughs> this is like. So much fun. This is like the I'm first. <laughs> this was like the first NHL season that I f- was like I cannot remember like how all the storylines. There's so many like, storylines. Like, yeah, it was unreal. It was like almost scripted. Yeah. Like you can be like, oh, this is some WWE shit going on. There's in like the NHL. one storyline on each team almost. Yeah. Except for Colorado, the storyline was how much worse can we get? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer was zero. Zero <laughs> worse. <laughs> zero <laughs> worse. <laughs> Best storyline has to be they still would not have made the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. That's so bad. That's how you know you're bad. Yeah. Uh, I think best storyline has to be Anderson, though. Yeah. yeah. That's got to top it all. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the worst part, though, is, like, they were so close to making the fucking final. Uh, yeah. And, and that what, goal, and... that overtime game seven goal was Fuck Chris Kunitz. Water fucking wrister. Chris and Kunitz wears see... fucking ear guards. You but can just also, see Craig Anderson just oh, oh devastated. Yeah, lose, that's just everything just left him at the that slow mo of it was just brutal yeah. to watch. Um, but yeah. also, fuck Chris Kunitz, but he has as many cups as Wayne Gretzky. Did you hear the Spin <laughs> Chiblets thing with Whitney talking? Oh about yeah, oh God. yeah. God, <laughs> so I'm, funny. I'm done with my fourth bottle of Marlowe, and this guy's just raising his fourth cup. <laughs> Unreal trade. <laughs> Patrick Marlowe, bro. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, man, I just gas as many bottles of wine as this guy's got Stanley Cups. Yeah. Great fucking trade. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Chris Kunitz, most cups out of any active player right now. And tied with Wayne Gretzky. That's unfortunate. That's the, Hawks that's the to, worst. The Hawks need to win again next that's year. That's the so absolute that worst because yeah. Chris Kunitz is so average. Yeah. yeah All right, Tanner, question for you. Yeah. Did Crosby lock up his spot as the greatest of all time? <laughs> I, in the salary cap era, yeah. In the salary cap era? Yeah, but I mean, you still have to give McDavid time to grow because he can surpass that pretty easily. Like, he's fucking filthy. I agree. They, yeah, they're going to be. Honestly, I, I can see a Toronto Edmonton final real soon. Yeah. How much fun would that be to watch? Oh, oh God. God. McDavid <laughs> Matthews? What's, what's, what's like a. Better line, I don't know. Is it like Matthews and Marner, or is it Drysidle and McDavid? Oh. And whoever oh. the fuck they want to put on. <laughs> <either one>. <laughs> <laughs> Any Chris Kunitz that they want to yeah. throw on that line. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw Milan Lucic and Nathan Horton on the line. Yeah. Oh my God, Milan Lucic. Yeah. How much 
fucking more cash can I throw at that guy to be yeah, really I know. fucking irrelevant? Just to be the protector <laughs> of. so much money, and then Patrick Maroon just fucking did his job for him. Yeah, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I would, yeah, Crosby's unreal though. I mean, I mean, just all around he, skill. Currently, currently yeah. Best player in the NHL for sure. But there's so and much. In the next five years, he, I don't know about it. He definitely shut up the whole. Who's better, Crosby Tays conversation for sure. Yeah. Um, the uh, there's so much bright future between on so many different players yeah. though. Like this league, there could be oh, so, there could be so many people that just stand out and are just making way more, winning way more cups. Than, it's exciting. It's to gonna see be a lot of fun. Games going. Oh yeah. Like it's getting so good. And now. seeing like 18 year olds come into the league and just tear it up like Matthews did. Like his first yeah, I year. Gonna, I was gonna say Matthews. I don't think anybody expected him to do what he did. No, especially they goal like, wise. They, they figured with, he was. I mean, with the fucking with the draft that they had the year before with Eichel and McDavid, everybody's like, "Oh, Matthews would be like pick third out of them." I'd be like, "I don't know. I'd probably take Big Matthews over Eichel." Yeah, and then um, going you know, into the come second in the league in goals. Yeah, going into the uh, draft, going into Matthews draft, people were like, "Oh." Uh, they might want to take Line A over Matthews. Like, Line A is going to score more goals. That's what they need as a goal scorer. And fucking Matthews just outscored him and just yeah. fucking was unreal. Well, Not to say that Line A wasn't. Him. Remember that one time Line A took a nap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got drilled so hard. <laughs> he just decided to take a nap at center yeah. ice. Well, that was a bad hit, too. It was a clean hit, but, I mean, yeah. he, was, um, he was dead. But, I mean, the... He got set up oh, so bad. Yeah, that was a hard The first... Uh, I mean, the first meeting between Matthews and Line A, though, that was pretty dope. That was Line A, a with the hat trick. Yeah. Um, is that going to be like the new Ovechkin Crosby? I hope yeah. not. I really hope yeah. not. I don't know. Is it going to be that or is it going to be McDavid? Matthews or McDavid Line A? I'd say it'd be. I thought it was, I thought it was McDavid and Eichel. Yeah. It's like Crosby and Ovechkin, I guess. Kane? That draft. Yeah. Crosby, Kane, kind of? No. Kane, it was supposed to be Kane and uh, JVR. <laughs> Which it was for at in twenty ten. Yeah. yeah. And now it might be Kane and JVR. Who knows? Together. Who knows? Yeah, because eventually. silly season is here. Silly summer, baby. Silly summer is it. here. All about it. And it's in <laughs> full form. Say for like the last few off seasons, and you like hear the rumors, and sometimes nothing comes out of it. Yeah. Like shit has to happen this one. This yeah. <laughs> Everybody's losing somebody. <laughs> it's so funny because like like yeah just. Like, it just hit me, like, every summer it's like, oh, dude, so much shit's going to happen and like, nothing. two months are into it and I haven't seen a single trade. There's going to be so much just dumping Tomorrow, and oh, yeah. fucking moves and oh my god. Rosters freeze for every team not named the Vegas Golden Knights tomorrow at mm-hmm. 2 o'clock Chicago time. Oh god, I can't wait. Yep. So there's yep. how many fucking <laughs> trades are going to get announced between, like, noon and, like, Dude, I feel like... Is the, it's the, it's the rosters freeze for everyone besides trades with the Golden Knights? Yes, so, yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. It's kind of hard to hear. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so it's literally going to be like, hey, Hawks trade this to Vegas. Vegas trades that guy so, yeah, straight wonder, to Toronto. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the Kruger deal is going to get announced. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. I'm going to drink my beer. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move on. Uh, first deal of the summer, Jonathan Druin. Oh, gone God. from Tampa, going to Montreal in exchange for Sergachev and a conditional second-round draft pick. Uh, if Sergachev doesn't play his 40 games for uh, Tampa, then the picks are exchanged. That 40 so, games includes playoff games, too. Yeah. So um, that, would, that would be a steal and a half if, if like, let's say Sergachev got hurt right away for the rest of the mm-hmm. season. Yep. Not only do they get Drew in, but they get a second-round pick. Yeah. <laughs> Could they toss him? But, I mean, is he still junior eligible, so, too? Can they just say who you know what? Yeah, can they just say fuck you? I don't think so because I think he yeah. he played games last year with Montreal. But you I can think, play. There's that ten up rule. No, I know, yeah. but I I don't know. I don't know. Mm. But uh, there is a curveball here. Yeah, um, Druin is not um, protected right now in the expansion draft, and Sergachev is. Which what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so isn't Sergachev just like? Wasn't in his rookie season, so isn't that why he's? He hasn't had, yeah, he hasn't had the game yeah. total yet. Yeah, but yeah. Druin's not protected. Is wow. that why he got so, tossed five point five million a year? Druin, yeah, gets signed he's for six years, six years and what thirty three million? Yeah. Thirty three, yeah. Six years and thirty three million says 
I'm so happy. This is a dream come true for me. I'm from Quebec. Guys, I learned where Quebec is from now. Um, <laughs> I'm from Quebec. What a time to be alive. How awful would it be? Slash funny, I yeah. guess. Because it's act- not us. Yeah. That's if he gets God. picked up by Vegas. Especially after all the shitty pull with Tampa. With the oh, my God. Shit. Oh, yeah. And God, then getting I dropped down to the gets, A and just oh not showing God. up to games. This would be amazing if he goes to his hometown, his team he grew up watching and all that. He did change his ways a bit, though. He was, no, uh, yeah. He was he sick last better. year. Yeah. But it would still be like. It would, cap for real quick. It would still be like, kind of like, ha, you fucked us. Just anybody like 5.5 mil around there. You fucked us. We're now we're gonna send you, and you're probably gonna get fucked. Mm. Enjoy it. I don't know. I feel like Stevie Y is not that kind of di- kind of guy. I don't know, but I feel like Mark Bergevin trades Subban. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, definitely a fair point, though. Yeah. Where are we at here? Um. So yeah, that's trade number one of the off season. What? What's What's the over under on what we're gonna see by tomorrow? I don't know. I would assume that not maybe not tomorrow, but somebody's got to move, be moving from Colorado. Do like Shane to Montreal? Like they gotta pull the trigger on someone yeah. and stop fucking jerking everybody off with like and like teasing them and shit. Well, how about these Galchenyuk rumors? There's lots of Galchenyuk because rumors about him coming to Chicago, to like, Toronto, uh, to... Like, he can go somewhere, but he hasn't done anything in, like, the three years he's been in the fucking league. Um, yeah, 30, 30 goal scorer a couple years in a row, I believe. Was he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's also uh, Landeskog <laughs> to Ottawa. Yeah. There's a rumor for... Oh, Landeskog to Ottawa? Ooh. For, well, I mean, for I've been CCF. hearing uh, Phaneuf isn't, isn't having Ottawa right now. Oh, yeah, well, he wants to stay, trade. but they keep on There's pushing no him. And he, I, he, he submitted he kinda, his twelve he, teams. Yeah, he kind of, he kind of fought Ottawa a little bit. So, well, after his performance in the playoffs, I would, if I'm Ottawa, I'd be like, listen, give me your twelve teams yeah. right, right now. You thought he didn't perform that great? Well, I thought I, he played well. I thought he was okay, but when it got to the nitty gritty, I mean, the thing I always think about when it comes to Dion Phaneuf in the playoffs is. His stupid penalty against Kessel that uh, oh yeah really really screwed him that cost you know? him yeah yeah but then you got Carlson who makes up for it yeah <laughs> always <laughs> who's gonna probably miss the start of the season yeah. yeah is it really gonna take him that long they said like four months four months yeah <sighs> that's unfortunate I'm, I'm sure if all right so that's the thing Carlson his contracts be coming up I'm sure just like Carey Price you just give him whatever he wants. <laughs> Here's we, all the monies. Yeah, we said it before. He, he led your team in the playoffs with one foot. Give him whatever he wants. We said it before with Carey Price, you just give him a blank check and say fill it in. Yeah. And Carlson gets that too. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Carey Price is going to get paid so uh, Here's hard. a list of... Hashtag don't pay goalies. <laughs> oh. You're talking, <laughs> you're talking to a goalie. <laughs> to a... <laughs> Um, here's also a list of Duchesne. Islanders, uh, Pittsburgh, and Tampa are all, like, it's Islanders, coming down Islanders, to... Pittsburgh, and Tampa. Duchesne, Duchesne on the Islanders. Duchesne on Tampa. Jesus. Yeah. Ooh. Duchesne I mean, on the Islanders Tampa's might Duchesne. change uh, Tavares' mind a little, yeah. make, make it up a little bit for him. I don't know. How, how is Montreal not on that list? Because, I mean, deadline, they were looking for him. Yeah. I mean, you pick up Drew well, and, up. and now Duchesne. The, Montreal's looking for D's now. D and centers. Are this is Montreal we're talking about. They get one offensive guy, and they're like, "We're good. This is it. Yeah. This is all we need. We're all right." Just give Carey Price all the money. Yeah. And then not, we'll get knocked out of the playoffs that, again. That meme of the dog in the burning house. He's like, everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and we were also talking about the team that built the best third and fourth line at the trade deadline this past year. So. Yeah. Fucking Dwight King, ridiculous. Odd. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Tanner, what are you up to, buddy? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, you know, just got just got home from the gym. Just oh, getting yeah? yoked. Big big hangover day, so uh, <laughs> like, so, huge hangover <laughs> guy. Huge <laughs> alcoholic guy. <laughs> hey man, I'm just varied in my spirits. <laughs> just I wouldn't call it alcoholic. I was just a dedicated drinker. <laughs> I'm just a big fan of tastings. <laughs> Been no. just drinking rose like crazy. Ricky Rose. That's what it's all about, baby. 
Big B. Rose day all day. <laughs> Summertime. Rose gay. Yeah, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was just going to compare. Drew Hands making, he's making 5.5 a year. And people were, some people were saying how, like, oh, what a joke. Like, he doesn't deserve that much money. And, like, personally, I thought it was a great deal. And I saw one stat, I think it was on Twitter, and it was um, guys that were making just about the same as him. And he had almost more points than every single one of them. Oh, really? And I couldn't, I cannot remember the list. I remember Goudreau was on there, which Goudreau should be making way more than Drew Ann, for sure. But, um... Everybody else on the list, I was like, I'd rather, ha- much rather have Drew Ann than any of these guys on oh, the list, yeah. besides Goudreau. Just I can't. Like 5.5. Who's yeah. Like, like yeah. easily. Like, I feel like Drew Ann is a steal. Like, that kid, he's this, got yeah. so much fucking potential. Yeah. Like, he could, oh my God. Literally, the sky's the limit for that kid because he's shown how bright his future could be. Like, it's mm-hmm. so many times without Stamkos in the lineup in Tampa. Yeah, I think like that helped him a lot. Thing is once Stamkos went down, then Drew Ann starts to, like, yeah. Go crazy. But he also had Kucherov, who's just a monster. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, well, now he's going to have, like, Patch Ready, but I think Patch Ready, he seems like just pretty pretty streaky player. Yeah. Um. Pretty much yeah, everybody. He's a, big, he's a big goal scorer, though. He was goal. Pretty, pretty he much goal scorer guy. Best contracts in the league. Isn't he only at, like, four mil? Patch Ready? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty low. I think they just said, I think they gave him four mil like after he got dummy by fucking Chara. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if you're all there. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I'm good. When he broke his neck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good times. Yeah. Nathan Dude. Horton and Dave Boland are on the list of guys that are making five and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Boland got a contract just to help a team reach the like fucking cap. <laughs> yeah, Arizona. <laughs> Air, I think Arizona had no. Wasn't it Florida? No, it was Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. Florida well, handed to him. Dale well, Talon gave it to him. Yeah, but they traded him to Arizona so, because so, yeah, but Arizona they, had four or five guys on their team that were never gonna play hockey again. Bolin, Pronger, Datsuk, and there was, the thing, the thing was one or two other guys. Cross in that deal though too. Yeah, but I mean, like they had it was like the recent like eleventh overall draft pick. They had like yeah like. But it's just stupid. Like they had four guys on their team that are never gonna play hockey. Again, I do just like though, to they fill up their fucking caps. I do like the humor they had though about it. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, they, they fill up the cap space like that. But I was gonna say like Toronto has guys that will never play hockey again, and they're just paying them, they're just put them on LTIR. Yeah, but like, they're on LTIR. They're not on their active roster just to fill up yeah. cap space. <laughs> <laughs> like when when uh, Arizona got Datsuk, they made a jersey for him and hung it up in the locker room. I'm oh like, yeah, like, I'm like at least they had a good sense of humor about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, you think oh. they're going to put his number up in the rafters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opening game in Arizona. Fucking 13 goes to the rafters right next to, what, 44? 44. Yeah. <laughs> and 36. Or 63. Whatever. Or 63. Yeah, whatever, whatever, he wants, he, yeah, whatever he wants. Pick or choose. I mean, 36 was a two-time Stanley Cup champ, but whatever. Uh, also making $5.5 million. I know his contract is ending. It's Tavares. Yeah. Is making $5.5 million, and so is OEL. I think OEL. OEL, fuck. He deserves a bit more Shows than five and a half. If you're trying to fill up paid. your cap space, sign OEL huge. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they're playing it smart by filling out the cap space now, being bad. And then once those once those like salaries are off the books, all the guys that they've drafted are going to need these, those contracts, those like big boy contracts. Yeah, they... Uh, so they, they don't have the cap space then. They're doing it pretty smart. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They do have a lot of young prospects in Arizona. All right, Tanner, I got a question for you. Okay. You want to stick around for Ryden Pine? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. All, right. All right, so. All right, right, boys. It's time for Riding Pine. You're riding the pine pony, pal. Well, oh, that took a while to play, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's you right. know, I'll fix. We'll fix. We fix it in the post, anyways. Yeah. Post. I really don't like when you when you slow it down and do it deep like it's Riding like, Pine. You don't like it? No, that's I think cool. that's. I don't like it. You should be Riding Pine. Maybe, maybe just better? do it like a normal human voice. Hey, boys, it's everybody. Riding Pine. There you go. <laughs> that, yeah, good? that's fur. Oh, hey there, That's pine. more fur. Riding the Pine. Yeah, hey riding there, hi there, there, Riding the Pony. Oh, holy <laughs> cow, eh? All right, our first question comes from uh, Mr. Matt Ross. He's got a question about uh, P.K. Subban. Uh, when he was in Montreal, P.K. was sort of the guy. After being traded in Nashville, he didn't stick out as much. 
Many people think that's because of the strong defensive core the Preds have. He didn't necessarily need to be that big-time player. I thought during the playoffs, especially the Cup Series, he would step up and take over as that elite player when Nashville needed him to, but he was pretty quiet the majority of the postseason. My question is, is Subban as elite as we think, or is his personality bigger than his play? Both. Well, I think both. No, I, I think he's elite because... Didn't he, didn't he participate in the, like, the Cup Final first goal that was disallowed? Yes, he, he scored, scored it. it. Um... Like we said, Montreal fucking has third and fourth line guys, and PK was actually an offensive threat for them. Yeah. That's why he stood out. In Nashville, they have Roman Yossi and fucking Ryan oh. Ellis, dude. They're fucking... Ryan Ellis, what a postseason by that kid. Yeah, unreal. But fucking in Montreal, he had to be offensive because they all they had was defensive defensemen. In um, Nashville, all they have is offensive defensemen. So he stayed back and show that he can actually play defensively. Like, in Montreal, everybody was like, oh, he can't even fucking, um, he can't even play D. He's just offensive. And in Nashville, he showed he could play two-way hockey. Yeah. I think Nashville's just all two-way players because all their defense do is step up at the blue line and then their forwards back check and yeah. get into a position there. It's insane how they rotate. Yeah, they yeah. have it. Like, their, their defense are always bringing the puck in and taking it low. It's like, it's just, it works for them. It's It was crazy how good it worked. Yeah, I know. It's just a roundabout carousel all day between forwards and D. He's, I, I, I think he's elite, but I also think, though, his personality is so huge. Like, he pretty much cemented, I think, himself as, like, the personality of the NHL, I think, this this place, this postseason. Um, I mean, I think this whole thing with the Listerine and all that just kind of mm-hmm. really just NHL's like, okay, we got somebody we can market around. Yeah. And I think he just really stepped up big, but I think he's definitely still an elite player. I think he's elite as well, but I do think that his personality sometimes overshadows what he does as a player. People focus on what he's doing off the ice Absolutely. more than what he does on the ice. Absolutely, and he loves that. I mean, he he's always talking about, oh, look at the suit that I'm wearing today. Look at the hat that I'm wearing today. Look at, you know, look I'm, I'm going to be mic'd up for the All-Star game. I'm going to be mic'd up for the finals, you know. It's a complete delete, like different contrast to like the rest of the league, where you right. see all these guys that are very much more professional off ice. I guess you can say because they're more like like head down, focused, yeah. not trying to be seen, trying to get, let their game or like let their like game do the talking. And then PK can actually let his game do the talking, but then he also does the talking as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I still think the best PK moment is when he was imitating Don Cherry. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Yeah. 100%. Oh, god. hilarious. Oh, but what about what about the shootout? When he was uh, being Yager. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was great, too, yeah. Forgot about that. <clears throat> All right, question number two. Uh, Tanner, tell us if you re- you remember this one. Uh, with the Caps about to lose so many players to free eight. Say it again. I said, was I drinking? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. With the Caps about to lose so many players to free agency, how do they get eliminated in the second round next year? <laughs> so was... you already have it down that they're done in the second round. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, good. See, when good. we were talking about it before the show, and my question was with losing so many guys at free agency, the question isn't how they get knocked out in the second round. It's how do they get to the second yeah. round? Because it's inevitable they'll lose in the second round, but they have to get there first. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they'll get there because yeah. they still have Ovechkin. They'll re-sign Kuznetsov. <laughs> Allegedly. And Oshie. <laughs> they'll have Holpi. Allegedly. I still, I'm still sticking by my bold statement. Ovechkin will not be a capital next year. I don't know. I'm sticking with that. Silly summer. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it'll be hard. I, I I think it might be the kind of season they had when uh, I think it was Adam Oates was behind the bench. Yeah. And they were just awful. Um. That what was that? The one year they didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I think if if they draw Toronto again. First round, uh, Toronto, oh, yeah. Toronto's gonna, gonna rip them a new yeah, one. It's gonna no, be a completely. Oh, and also, doesn't Washington not even have a pick until the fourth round this year? Yeah, yep. third. I no, I think it's fourth. It's, um, oh, what a shit show it's about to be. <laughs> <laughs> the only way I see Toronto and Washington meeting in the first round is if uh, Toronto gets first and. Uh, Washington gets the, the wild, wild card, card because there's no way uh, a Toronto is going to be that bad during the regular. Well, not bad, but that low of a season it's a change. going into the playoffs it's, again next year. It, we're starting to see the change of the guards. All these teams that have been bad for so long 
are going to start coming up, and it's just going to be except for Colorado, except for Colorado. Buffalo. <laughs> no, I think I don't know. I think Buffalo will be, and Arizona. Yeah. Buffalo is going to be a different story. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, it is the fourth round. Healthy Eichel all season. Yeah. Too bad. And yeah. it sounds like, like it, Robin Laner's gonna have to stop at least one sh- like shootout. Oh, it sounds like maybe the, keep his head for he's one. So game. bad. It sounds like there was issues with Plasma and the team. Like they just were not clicking with him. Yeah. yeah. And it sounds and they were saying I was watching NHL tonight and they were saying how that having a former player that's been in their situation is going to probably do so much better for them than a guy that's mm-hmm. never coached before. So we'll, or played before, I yeah. should say. So hmm. we'll see. Uh, number three out of four, will Jonathan Taves end his career at the end of his career, have the numbers to be a hall of famer from the one and only Kevin Nolan. Big, bad Kev. Big Kev. Tanner, how do you feel about that? Uh, numbers as in cups, maybe. Numbers as in points? No. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be a Hawks Hall of Famer for Look sure. His, uh, stats right for now. the for the things that you don't see on the stat sheet, just the leadership and leading them like through like they made they were first in the West this year. Yeah. Like and their team is nuts and bolts of like core players and then rookies. Like it's fucking ridiculous. I mean you could say that about the Penguins though too. Fuck the Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect response. To quit <laughs> the Penguins have Kessel. That's like not fair. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I agree. I mean, awards between like um, cups and being one of the best captains the, in the league for sure. Like, he, there's no doubt he's going to the Hall of Fame. Like 100. percent He's captained three Stanley Cups in six years for the Hawks. Like he led the way. Like there's no way he's not going he to Hall of Fame. To, he might have to wait a bit. I don't think he's a. Uh, yeah, he, just, he doesn't have the. No, it depends, it depends on who's going up against. He's got okay, so I got we got the points right here. He's got. See, he's got the most at one point with seventy six points in a season. He's got. Uh, he's a top one hundred NHL player. Come on. He's got. No, just kidding. He's making the whole thing here. Sixty two. He's got sixty eight. Oh, no, sorry. Sixty eight was his most points. He's got um two hundred and seventy two goals, three hundred and fifty assists, and six hundred and twenty two points. In 717 games. I mean, yeah. those are good enough. I mean, those are not at, bad. It, I mean, they're not bad. They're oh, But I mean, for an elite top 100 player, those are pretty average numbers. And he's what, yeah. 29? It's, I think it's 20, just the hardware that comes it? with it. Is yeah. What's, what's making him 29. Plus, 29? Plus, I mean, he's got. That's weird. I mean, um, <laughs> Olympic gold, two time Olympic gold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, and I mean, that's a part of it, too. I mean, there's. <sighs> World Championship. Yeah. <clears throat> He's one of the most like well-respected players in yeah. the league too. And I, I mean, I it's something season. to show when the Canada comes around and Crosby gets to see and he asks Taze if it's okay if he Absolutely, wears the yeah. C. I mean, that just shows how respected Absolutely. he is through the league. Oh yeah, just the leadership he fucking brings is just—he doesn't need the C to bring it. You know, he's one of those guys that he, he shows lets the team turn it on. Yeah, I think he's that's a, he is a big moment player though too. Like holy shit. He can was be, it yeah. 2015 against Anaheim when he scored with like two goals. Two goals, like, oh. yeah. Last one of them was from like behind the goal line. Yeah, and yeah. they I mean they still lost that game, but like the next game he went out and scored, I think, another another goal to start the game. Game seven, he started that he, he started the scoring spree in that yep. one. Yep. And it, this is gonna sound stupid given what we just said about him, but I think that season's gonna be a career defining season for him because you got just the adversity that the Hawks are facing with, you know, back to back, first round exits being swept this year, the whole this is the first time in since he's been there, that they've questioned where this team's going. Mm-hmm. I mean, how he responds, I think that's going to say a lot, too, and, about him. And plus, everybody compares him to Crosby. Crosby right. just one yeah. back right. to back, so it's going to well, be... Was it, was it the last time we had two first-round exits? We came back with uh, Stanley Cup? Yeah. I mean, it was Yeah, we didn't history. get swept, though. Yeah. <laughs> and we weren't first in the West either of those years. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We, like, yeah, barely yeah. made it to eighth that one season. We, like... Vancouver. Like, Vancouver. Like, like, a yeah. wild loss. Like, and they after, almost came the back and won. Over. Oh, I remember watching that game. Yeah, they almost came we back. Were at, we were at yeah. B-dubs, yeah. yeah. That's, your, that's where you fucked up. Don't go to B-dubs for a long time. We that's were undefeated. Curse. No, we were undefeated there, though. It, that, that's that, where my curse started. I'm yeah. like 0-9 yeah. at B-dubs oh, for Hawks games. Awful. Terrible. <laughs> Never go back. Yeah, no. fuck B-dubs. Final. I'm not looking for a sponsorship there. <laughs> <laughs> Final writing buying question comes from Chris Seamock. And it's a doozy. Yeah. 
who has the best flow in the game? Chris Carlson. <laughs> oh, God. No hesitation yeah. at all. <laughs> Barely heard the question. Uh-huh. Easy answer. <laughs> um, Carlson's flow is juicy for sure. Carl Haglin. Has yeah. He's got some great Beauty flow, though. He's got some yeah. great flow. Oh, Brayden Holby's got some, some sick flow. Mm-hmm. And he's got the beard to go with it, which is yes, great. which makes it amazing. Um, <clears throat> Even more impressive that he's a goalie pulling that shit off. Yeah. Guys, we're... Why is it so much more impressive? Because <laughs> <laughs> goalies shouldn't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're sleeping on somebody. Uh, Brent Burns. And I'm pretty upset that you guys haven't said him yet. Brent Burns. Yager. No. Yager. Well, Yager. Yager. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about Kevin Shattenkirk. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> best hair in the game. Absolutely. By far. Hands down. Best. Goodness. Absolutely the best flaw. That's my That's my vote. You got Shattenkirk, and then I think Amante with the blonde tips. <laughs> oh. And that was then... terrible. <laughs> Amante had a moment at one point. That was pretty great. He had the blonde tips, too. Who? Gets left when he first got in the league. He oh, yeah. Yes. He did. Yeah. Yeah, that he was did. some unreal shit. Yeah. What a fucking draft that year by Anaheim. That we don't have draft. time for that, Tim. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> That's no draft talk today, Tim. That's going to be for sure, like, a summer uh-huh. when nothing else is going on. The, just the 03 draft. Because I think that has fuck. to be one entire episode. I think draft, we're going to have, man. like, a three part episode just talking drafts yeah. with you, Tanner. And it's just going to be me and Tanner. <laughs> because that's all we do is talk drafts. <laughs> well, it's, we'll, we'll make a drinking game out that's of it. Fine. We'll yeah. let yeah. them just I'm go. Be drunk in a corner. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like Dark Batman, Knight, Dark Batman Knight all over again. <laughs> Uh, um, I like that that, that you question. Be sitting there crushing like eight beers at a time and being fine. Yeah, we know you. You're big. I was just trying huge, to keep up, Tanner. Huge beer guy. That was your mistake. You're trying to keep up yeah, with Tanner. I, uh, I do like that this question came from Chris Simak about hair. Of all people. Of all people. <laughs> I mean, fucking Phil Kessel hair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to roast you here, Chris, but Kevin Shattenkirk comparison, huh? Yeah. Top of the head, huh? Yeah. Well, Tanner, thank you so much for the impromptu call. This um, was outstanding. I answer and I go, hey, what's going on? He's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, we're doing a podcast. Fucking right. <laughs> it's like exactly what I wanted to hear. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. our pleasure, Bob. Maybe we'll call you next time. Hopefully, you'll be yeah. drunk. <laughs> hey, man. It's, it's, it's a 50 50 shot, really. <laughs> Tanner, I'm going to. 70 30. 70 drunk, 30 we, sober. If we actually do that, we're going to have to put like. 70 drunk, 30% getting there. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to put like an, a disclaimer yeah. at the beginning of the episode if we're going to have that. This, yeah. We might have to have one at the beginning of this one. Nah. Yeah. That's not but no, Tanner, I'm, my goal now is to get the phone call set up here just so yeah. we can get you in here more often. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. Gotta see, gotta see the boys pretty soon. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Actually see each know, other. You guys know you're always welcome here. So. And you're always welcome Thanks here. Again. Yeah, you're always welcome in, in the suburbs, man. You got fucking yeah. many options to stay here. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, well, yeah. Thanks again, guys. Yeah. Love you, boys. Uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you. Bye. Right, bye, guys. Bye. How fucking beautiful is that? That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm really happy that that happened. I'm, I'm watching the logos. I, I, I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So that's our buddy Tanner. He's a beauty. Yes, he's amazing. He is. He is going to be, like like I said, once we, if I can figure Talk this about whole a, thing out, man, he's going to be on here a lot, I think. Yeah. Talk about a personality. He's the PK Subban of our group. Oh, oh God, yes. Us. Also, the only Mata of our group. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, the PK well, I, Mata I of our group, I don't for think so, sure. He can handle it better than Mata can. Nah, I mean, have you heard him drunk drunk snore at the he's, lake? <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's out. You're right. You're right. That's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, great yeah. guy. Uh, knows his hockey, for sure, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> Might have to boot one of you two out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Nose goes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Jerome. Oh, oh, it's my house. We're gonna be <laughs> <in here. laughs> All right, I folks. Say that. Episode 10 is wrapped up. 
Imani uh, is done the, the and Imani gone is, like his golden tips. Oh. And and his Don't and say it, don't say it. His physique body. God damn it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for following along. And waiting for, so long. Yes. yes, waiting for so long. Uh, hopefully we won't have to wait so long again. Uh, for Potes, Noli. Yep. Yeah, okay, he didn't want to say anything. I thought you were going to go everywhere. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Potes, Noli, Jerem, hey. and Tanner, who has hung up the phone. Uh, thank you, and so long, everybody. Silly summertime, baby. Follow the guys on Twitter at WCBP, on Instagram, WCB Podcast, and like them on Facebook, the Windy City Benders Podcast. The Windy City Benders Podcast.